I'm Bruce Grace, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And I want to talk to you about the seating control strategy tightening step on the MicroTorque system. The seating control strategy is a one-of-a-kind strategy on the MicroTorque system that monitors the seating point and then adjusts the peak torque to target a clamp torque. If you don't have a good understanding of clamp torque or the steps in a tightening process, I would recommend that you watch the video from the MicroTorque playlist called What is Clamp Torque First? so that you have a better understanding of how the seating control strategy can benefit you. The seating control strategy is best suited for a manufacturer that is okay with measuring clamp torque instead of peak torque. Peak torque is really only a threshold, while clamp torque actually measures the stress on the joint. The seating control strategy monitors the seating point and then adjusts the peak torque to target clamp torque. This means that if there's inconsistency in your application, using the seating control strategy will give you varied results based on the varying friction, but it will always assure that the specified clamp torque is met. Let me show you an example of how the seating control strategy works. So here in front of me I have a block with two different sized hole diameters. On one side the hole is bigger with less friction and on the other side the hole is smaller which creates more friction. Let's see how the seating control strategy acts and adjusts the peak torque to meet a clamp torque. This is the bigger hole diameter. Now you can see that we targeted a clamp torque of five centen newton meters. And on the graph here, you can see a seating point. You can see that we hit a peak torque of nine centen newton meters, and we fell right in the range of our target on the clamp torque of five centen newton meters. Now let's see what happens when we tighten a screw into the smaller hole that's gonna create more friction. Again, we got an okay signal, but let's take a look at the graph. Now more friction means the seating point is higher, and it means that the peak torque to meet the clamp torque is going to be higher as well. You can see that we still met the targeted clamp torque of 5 centen newton meters, but because there was more friction, it took a higher peak torque to actually meet that clamp torque. So the seating control strategy monitored that seating point, realized there was more friction and that it was higher, and adjusted the peak torque to target the clamp torque. Now the most common feedback that we get from manufacturers on this strategy is that it works great and we can agree that targeting clamp torque makes more sense. However, end customers still require a peak torque result. Fortunately, this is exactly why the advanced tightening strategy called Torque Seating Monitoring was created. Check out that video from the MicroTorque playlist to learn more. This has been an overview of the seating control strategy on the MicroTorque system. For any other questions, feel free to reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.